Hi folks, uh, Ruri at Club and Painting Studio here again. Um, today we're going to talk about uh, Napoleonic British flank companies um, of line infantry regiments. Um, in front of us we've got some uh, Perry plastics that I have uh, built and painted. Um, in the centre here, appropriately enough, we have someone from uh, one of the eight centre companies in each battalion. Um, and as well as the centre companies, we would also have two flank companies. On the right of the line would be the Grenadiers, and on the left would be um, the Light Company. Um, essentially, the Grenadiers would be the um, big experienced men, um, often lead to, uh, used to lead um, attacks. Um, and the Light Company would be the more experienced, uh, smaller, uh, more agile men, at least in theory, um, who would be used for skirmishing. Uh, duties. Um, when it comes to modelling and painting there's a couple of um, differences between a um, centre company uh, fusilier and the flank companies. Um, on the uh, top of the shako our plumes are different colours. Uh, for the grenadiers they are white and for the light company they are green. Uh, and the other thing is the lace wings or bird's nests, um, which we can see on the shoulders of both the Grenadiers and the Light Companies. Um, we compare that to the centre company there, you see not as ornate in the lace department. Um, the Perry box, for example, um, provides you with um, the same bodies but different arms when you're uh, putting your uh, line battalion together. Um, so just be careful which arms you're um, selecting, um, otherwise you, you could end up with flank company um, lace wings on your centre company types. And you might come across a, a gamer who doesn't like that sort of thing. Um, the Perry set, it's got a, a few limitations in terms of pose um, for uh, the flank companies. Um, I've actually used bits from two boxes here, um, so I have two of the light company uh, firing. However, there is only one set of those arms um, available. Um, if you would like more uh, models in a firing pose, um, then a bit of conversion work um, with some putty of a centre company firing a pair of arms as possible. And we'll have a look at how to do that. So I've clipped up the sprue um, to get this centre company uh, pair of arms that are uh, firing. Um, I've used a bit of uh, Procreate putty um, already on one side. Um, but I'll just show you how I did that on the um, other arm. Um, first of all, I've got my uh, scalpel, my craft knife, and we're going to take off um, the plastic um, of the uh, lace that was there already. So let's get some of the putty and apply that. Um, make it into a blob and then cut it in half and you've sort of got a semicircle of the rounded edge towards the top of the shoulder. At the base of the wing um, we have a, a raised uh, area of lace, so I've got a thin rolled up piece of putty. We'll apply that along the bottom. Let's move this in, with a little indentation in the centre. It's a bit lower than the edges, just with the rounded edge of the tool. And with the flat of the blade, the vertical line in the centre of that depression you've made, and a couple either side. I want to try and get a sort of corded effect on the rest of the lace. You can just do very gentle 
diagonal lines as well. That side I did first of all as a practice. I'll wait for this to dry now. Right, so I've very quickly got some paint on here. Um, I don't normally paint on the sprue, um, but just as an example of the um, lace wings, I thought I'd just get this done quickly. So it's painted up pretty well. Um, if we compare it to one from the Perry's, uh, clearly um, that's a lot neater. Um, if I'd used a smaller blade, we would have got uh, finer indentations in between um, with the areas of red showing on the lace. But for a quick attempt, it doesn't look too bad. Um, when it comes to, to painting these areas, what I do first is to give everything um, a coat of uh, contrast apothecary white. Um, I will then highlight that back up um, with uh, an off-white from Vallejo. And then with the thin brush, the Blood Angels Red contrast paint goes into um, the gaps and gives the, the, the appearance of the red uh, uniform showing through the lace. And to round things off, um, I just want to say a big thanks to all my viewers and subscribers. Um, it's the 31st of December 2020. I started this channel um, around about March. Um, and it's really gone um, from strength to strength, which is just wonderful. Um, we're up to 884 uh, subscribers. So thank you all for uh, regularly uh, tuning in and watching um, the videos. Um, I hope everyone um, has a happy Hogmanay and be back soon in 2021 uh, with some more content. Thanks. Bye-bye.